Good morning everyone, I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. In this video, we're looking here at the absolute value of x. This function, but we have to graphically prove why it has no derivative at its vertex, which is right here. x equals zero, the origin, there is no derivative for this function. How do we show it? How do we prove it? We're gonna look at everything here by means of two parts of its domain, from zero up to infinity. You can see zero is not included. And then obviously from minus infinity up to zero and zero is not included. You know, when you're looking at f of x is equal to absolute value of x, it's also equal to plus and minus x. As you can see, you open up the absolute value, you have that. When you look right here at this y equals x portion, which corresponds to this part of the domain, y equals x dy over dx is equal to what? The derivative of x, which is one. Now, let's look at it at y equals minus x, which is this part of the domain, minus infinity up to zero. If y equals minus x, dy or dx is equal to the derivative of that, which is minus one. You're looking right over here. Here we have the graph of the function. Here we will do the graph of the derivative of that function. You know, visually looking at it, the slope here is a positive one, slope here is a minus one. And likewise, the tangent lines will have similar slopes. Anyhow, when you're looking at this, you have a graph which shows out here. Again, zero is not included because we never included in this domain over here. dy or dx equals one, that's the graph over there. dy or dx equals minus one, that's this graph over here. And it's going right over here. And you can see clearly here, at x equals zero, there's a break or there's a discontinuity in this graph of the derivative. Hence, there's no continuity here. There's no differentiability here. If you were to look at it in terms of limits, limit as x approaches is zero from the left, the derivative of the function as you're approaching from the left will approach minus one. Limit as x approaches is zero from the right, the derivative function, you can see it, it's approaching positive one. Right hand, left hand limits are not equal to each other. Therefore, there is no derivative at the value zero. X equals zero, there's no derivative. And you can see here clearly by means of a discontinuity here in the derivative graph, there can be no derivative at this point right here, X equals zero. That's what I'm showing you here. Have a good day.